Okay, so if you want to get fancy with your popsicle stick and like put a knock knock joke on there or something, or put your your company logo, put some text on here. This is what I'm going to show you how to do. So you hit sketch, um, sketch on that surface of the plane, uh, square it up. Um, actually, it looks like I'm upside down, so I'm going to start this again. Let's let's center this around. Let's look at it from the front. There's my front. So sometimes you, you lose track of where you are. Now, start a sketch, click on this front edge, um, hit end to square it up. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna kind of rotate this sideways so I can get it going. All right, and then to make a sketch, there's this little text button. And just draw a little text box. Um, type in whatever you wanna make and say. Um, I think you can highlight that. And, kind of play around with the different fonts. Um, yeah, sure, make it like this. You can play around with these numbers, flip it horizontally, so now it's upside down. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, you can write secret hidden messages. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to write a hidden message. Uh, hit check, and there it is. So there it's on there. Um, <coughs> now, sometimes it doesn't always come up the way you want it to. So in this case, it's like I want to rotate it. So rotate it, you need to do what's called a transform. Um, and I never remember where the transform is. There it is. It's buried under this. So transform. And I can say I want to highlight that. That's what I want to transform. And then you'll see it kind of gets me like um, I can stretch it. I can move it, move the plane. I can stretch it. I can stretch it this way. I can stretch it this way, which I don't really want to do, so I'm going to go on. And then this button, I can tilt it, so I can tilt it down, and then I can move it up, perfect. And then I can place it exactly where I want it, so like that. And then that little green button on the cursor, so i got to hit green. That looks pretty good. And then the only thing I also need to do is it's really small. So if I dimension this, I can click on here and dimension it, right? It's a half an inch, so let's make it two inches. Uh, now it's too big, so I'm going to edit that and make it one inch. And yeah, I like it. All right, so I can say finish the sketch. And then it's just a sketch, so it's like I just wrote with a pencil on the block of wood. If I want to intrude, intrude this or not, I can say extrude. Click on this, and if I want to be like, if I want to kind of mimic ink, ink is very, very fine layers. It can be like 0 0.01, one thousandth of an inch. Um, extrusion becomes up really, really little. Or, you know what I can do? I can actually do remove, I can ink erase it, I can cut into it. Um, something like that, and like that. So now it's just barely cut in there, and then. Probably the last move would be right click and edit that face or edit the appearance of that feature so I can actually see it. Put some color on it. And there you go. Now I got a hidden message. I kind of like this backwards name business. That looks, that looks cool. Alright, that's how you put text on the popsicle. Enjoy. Goodbye.